Ooh, feels bad. YouTube didn't send out notice. Oh, well. Let's get her started. This is going to be interesting. So, we uh, started up the... We started over on the... Um, what's it called? The Beginner Series account. The Beginner Series account have been repurposed to a... Great one before 60 account. Let's see if we can make this a successful series. I already recorded the intro before the stream. We're going to see if we can uh, manage to get a great one Red Deer before hitting level 60 because Red Deer did win the poll by quite a lot, actually. Now, we've only got three guns to start out with. We got to earn some money in order to be able to uh, unlock things. Or not really unlock, but be able to purchase the ammo. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting, man. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be super interesting. We need to plop as much stuff out of here and get the more useful stuff like tents. So I'll grab that and then I've already bought some of the DLC weapons, but I don't have ammo for them yet because we need to earn a little bit of money first. So let's see if we can figure out where these red deer are, man. Hey, Heavy G, how's it going, man? Hey, Corey, Pops, Jax, Amanda, Chicken, uh, we got Johnny, we got Crazy Taco, Ghost, TJF, we got, uh, Gorillas, we got Newt, we got Heartblood, we got, uh, Sam, Brooks, we got Johannes, how's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing good. We're probably gonna have to kill a couple of Fallow Deer just to get some money real quick. Although, for this series, I kinda don't wanna shoot anything that isn't a Red Deer, just cause I wanna be able to use, uh, like the Codex for our stats, because... We got a completely blank codex since this is a different account and we've started over on it. So I really want to try and just shoot red deer. So we got to go figure out where these red deer are and uh, try to take a few of them down. I think you start with 7 mil ammo. Well, the thing is I don't have money to buy it. That's what I'm saying. I don't have any money to purchase ammo yet. Got to go ahead and earn all the money so that we can purchase... All of the, uh, all the things and stuff. Oh, always oh, fish, man. You know it. <laughs> yeah, it happens, Corey. That's, uh, that's gifted memberships for you. They only last a month. Imagine you see a great one fallow before a red deer. Well, I'm not going to be shooting any fallow, so we definitely will not see a great one fallow. I'm only going to shoot the red deer. Yes, Johnny, we did. We found, uh, we found where it went yesterday. And we even got a great one to show up yesterday as well. So, the whitetail grind has been weird the last few days, but really good. It's been like a weird combination of good, but really weird. Don't run me over, bro. Don't run me over at all. I got things to do. I got places to be. I got red deer to shoot. Not even after you guys. Why are you after me? <laughs> oh, man. There we go. Hey, it happens, Jax. It happens, man. You can't win them all, you know. Can't win them all. Uh, let's real quickly do something. I want to grab the ATV. And we're going to drive over to an outpost. How long did great one number 60 take? 126 kills. It was ridiculous, man. It was absolutely ridiculous. What is the best map in my opinion? Um, let me turn that down a little. Best map in my opinion is Emerald Coast. I feel like it is the most fun overall. It's got the best mix of species. It's got just endless possibilities and stuff to do. It's a fun map. I really like it. Oh, you meant in minutes? It was two hours, Heartblood. Just two hours of grinding, killed 126 Whitetail in those two hours. Actually, less than two hours, now that I think of it. And boom, we got him. It was a weird grind, too. Only one diamond showed up the whole time. I was kind of shocked to see it. Oh, there we go. There's Red Deer.
Come on, we need a little bit of money. Okay, two hits. He'll die even though they're probably not vitals. That will at least kill him. And that's really all we need in this situation right here. Man, oh man. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we did get vitals. What? We got vitals. No way. We got vitals, guys. Oh my gosh. Oi! We're getting some crazy shots. And that's a red deer zone too. Six to ten. Okay. We found our first red deer zone. Love to see it. Six to ten. Beautiful. Now, where do we get this guy? That's not his blood there. Is that it? No. Gotta be somewhere over here. I guess he just kept going this way, eh? Let's go back to exactly where we hit him. Wish your level 5 Euro Bison would have made it. Me too, man. I was kind of like... I was kind of heartbroken when I saw that it had no chance. It is what it is, though. I think throughout my whole time doing YouTube, I've had four troll rares that were not from herd management. I've had three or four of them. And they're always the most heartbreaking encounters because... You, you just hope they're going to make it. It's so difficult to find a super rare without herd management. And when it trolls you, it's just, it's rough. It is definitely rough, man. It is what it is, though. Pops, thank you for the membership, dude. Much appreciated. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much. At three max level rares and two of them trolled. Ooh, rough. Rough, dude. Like I said, it never gets easy. It's always a rough thing. Let's see a low kill count on Red Deer. Hopefully, man. We've had really good luck recently with uh, Whitetail and Bears and stuff like that. So hopefully we can carry that luck over to this grind right here. That would be fantastic if we could. And okay, we got... Red deer over there. Probably the same red deer, to be honest. What did I miss? You didn't miss too much, man. We took our first shots at some uh, deer on this uh, playthrough. We got a shot into a red deer, got the vitals on it. So now we're tracking it down so we can claim it and get a little bit of cash to purchase ammo. There he is right there. Also, we are going to be doing herd management because I feel like if it does affect great ones, obviously we want to be using everything we can to try and get this great one before level 60. And that right there is a lung shot and then a bad shot on the second one. But that is our first bit of money, 983 cash. Uh, don't show again. Boom. There we go. The first kill of the grind. You clip that because that is going to go into episode one. Of great one before level 60. So now that we got a little bit of money, we're gonna go back to one of the lodges and get some ammo. Actually, we can just place a tent, to be honest. We can 100% just place a tent here and get our uh, ammo and then just continue on our way. If this area would allow me to place one. Of course I can't. <laughs> Why would I be able to place a tent here, you know? Hey Colton, how's it going, man? Okay, how many zones do you have, Derek? How many zones have you found? Because if it's less than 60, then you still have zones to find, and that would be why you're not getting diamonds. I found that the number one cause of people, uh, you know, having their zones completely filled with level ones and uh, not getting diamonds to show up is because they didn't find all their zones and they're only hunting, like, the ones that they did find. All right, so 338 ammo is a bit too expensive, but we can get some 308 poly tips. That's going to be a massive help right there. 
we can drop that out, drop that out, drop that out. Uh, how much money is left? 133. We don't have enough for 22 bullets yet. Let's just get all of our guns that we're going to be using equipped. 308 poly tips. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um. Okay. I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Oh, that's going to be for a video series, bro, bro. I haven't uh, started the recording for that. We start the recording with him, and then we do streams on it after I've done the recording. This is a separate series. Merle, what's up, dude? Hope you're doing good, man. So we got our first Red Deer Zone right there. Yes, this is a brand new account, uh, Pyro. Well, it's an old account. But it's one that we've used for other things. This is the beginner series account that we have reset and started this series on. Got my first great one, Black Bear, and 76 kills. Should I stack or kill now? Hmm. If you're still, like, early on in your grind like it seems you are, I would stack it just to help manage down the rest of the map. Because that would definitely help manage things down better. Uh, yeah, Michael, we're going to be playing it tonight. What is the most whitetail I've seen in a single zone? Like 20, 25, I think, because it was multiple herds in one zone. So I think that would be the most I've ever seen, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drop this tent right here. And let's save that loadout. And then let's make a loadout that's just our tents. Like just the tent and blinds. Stuff like that. Uh, man, I need to buy the duck and cover DLC on here. I have not bought the duck and cover DLC on this account. I need to do that. I'll do that uh, next time. I'll do that next time. For now, we'll have to use a tripod, but that's fine. It is what it is. Back to loadout one. Okay. We don't have enough money to reset the time, so that's unfortunate. So their zones are from six to ten. We're out of their time. Do we have enough? Nah, we definitely don't. Okay, we need to chase down those red deer and kill another. Appreciate it, Lucas. Thank you, dude. Congrats on your two-tone spider rack, man. Yeah, it's been about like the average for me as well, Mike, is I've had a 2,500 kill grind. I've had two 3,000 kill grinds, two 6,000 kill grinds. Well, one was uh, 6,700, so almost 7K. And then I've had like an 820 or a 680 or something like that. I think it was a 680. And then I had a 180 kill grind. So most of my Red Deer grinds have been really unfortunately long, but I've had a couple good ones. And I'm hoping that if we can get some like insane herd management going, maybe we'll be able to get a really, really good grind going here. Nice fishing for days. That's awesome, man. Oh my gosh, hunting gods, really, dude? Jeez. I wish I was that lucky, man. I wish I was that lucky. I don't get the rack I want, though. I never do. Like, I'll have great luck with getting lots of great one whitetails, but never the one that I'm after. Oh, man. All the Wild is selectively... It's, like, selectively nice to me. It's like, we'll give you some stuff to make you happy, but we're not going to give you the big thing that's going to make you the happiest. <laughs> we need a great one lion? I agree. Would be incredible to have a great one lion. Be super, super cool. How can you start HM? Just don't shoot the low-level animals. That's really all there is to it. Like, for red deer, I'm not going to shoot fours and below. I'm only going to shoot fives and above. And that is how you herd manage the red deer. 
For Whitetail, just leave all the ones. Kill the twos and threes. For uh, animals that go to level five, you kill the threes and above and leave the twos and below. Keep in mind, you have to find every single one of your drink zones. If you want to... If you want to really, like, manage it to the full extent and get the best results, you will have to manage every single zone on your map, not just the ones that you find. So, even if you're missing some of them, they still affect your herd management. Alright, we found red deer tracks. Let's chase them down and get a couple of them on the ground so that we can get some money. And then, once we get a little bit more money, we can reset the time and start fully looking for them. Ooh, that's a rest zone. Wait, clear back here. Oh, I spooked them out of their rest zone. So they've just been running over here, which means they're probably pretty close. I probably just spooked them off. I would imagine, at least. Shut up, feral goats. We don't care. Howdy, L. How's it going? How's it going, man? Hey, Deegan, how's it going? What do we got here? No more tracks from Red Deer. That's what we got. No good spot where I got my first diamond ever on this map? Nice, dude. Nice. Where did the tracks go? They must have cut off to the right. Can we get a tro trophy lodge tour? Maybe at some point we'll do another one. You should do a kudu grind? I would, but I've already got like all the kudu trophies I could ever want. I got a bunch of different kudu trophies when they first released True Rex for them. Ah, uh, you're a few years late on that one, Crazy Taco. I did a face reveal years ago, and then I've done face cam stuff off and on like every few months since, and then recently I just haven't. But for a while I was doing at least one face cam stream like every six months or so. Faded, what's up, dude? And also, if you're wondering why I'm not shooting the other animals, guys, it's because I'm trying to only shoot red deer this whole time to reduce the amount of XP that we make from killing other things, because the longer we can prolong the leveling process, the better its chances we're going to have of getting a great one before level 60. If I'm shooting other stuff for money, we're going to be getting XP from it, too. And we don't want to level up super quickly. We want to level up as slowly as possible. That way we can better our chances of completing this challenge. I'm doing good, Faded. It feels crazy to be back on this type of a series on a fresh map chasing red deer. That's a fallow deer. <laughs> uh, it's already, it already is there, bro. You just don't see it. You just don't see it, bro, bro. Where it, did this red deer go? I mean, I suppose they might be heading back to their resting zone over there. You know, it actually might just be easier to uh, go to the main menu and then just go to their resting zone. That's probably going to be an easier thing to do. Uh, unfortunately, no, Josh, they can't. Elk grind? Maybe, but we already have two latent grinds going, so I don't know. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. That is what we needed. Nice. We got another red deer going down. Okay. That is what we love to see. So now we'll be able to reset the time. I should have done that, like, immediately. I don't know why I didn't. Man, I forgot how slow you reload with no perks or skills. Crazy. Yeah, they're pretty cool, Chaz. I mean, I'm not a super massive bird hunter, so... 
I definitely don't use them as much as other people will, but they're definitely cool. Yes, you can do HM on any species on any map, Samuel. Obviously, like, depending on the species and depending on the map you choose, it could be tougher or easier than, like, another one. There we go. Two kills on the grind. Let's go ahead and go get ourselves a little bit of a... Uh, little bit of a time switch. Uh, let's real quickly check their drink time again. It is 6 to 10, so we're going to switch it to, like, 7.30, I think. 7.30 should be good. How many tents can you use on a single map? So you can have 16 tents on one map. There's a 5. Okay. Ooh, there's a zone there with a 4 in it already. And a 5. Okay. Okay. So as always, we're going to try and manage solos as quickly as we can. Because solos are going to be a pain, man. Solos are always going to be a pain, so we got to take them down. As quickly as we can. That's going to be two more kills, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Sam, what's up, dude? Is this a new account or your old account? This is the beginner series account reset, essentially. I reset my account on the uh, beginner series account. So this is my Epic Games edition of Call of the Wild instead of the Steam one. There we go, our first level up. And a little bit of money as well. Also guys, this is gonna be a great series for anybody that's just starting out and like really wants to learn about grinding or wants to know how to make money when you have no tents or anything like that. Cause we've got absolutely nothing right now. We're starting from scratch, we're completely at zero. We're gonna be working our way up. Because you 100% can start a grind with no tents or anything and just work your way up. Let's add to the skill points. Okay, so let's do... What's the most important? Well, for a grind like this, I think Ambusher is going to be best because spotting knowledge will be good. Tight spotting is going to be a key one. Let's start working on that. I think that's what we need to work on. Now, let's go get some ammo. Hey, Eli, how's it going, man? You only missed the first few kills. First few kills, and we're about to purchase some 338 ammo. Because I discovered something. Apparently, if you own one of the weapon pack DLCs, that has one of these weapons, you don't have to unlock the ammo with a weapon score. I did not know that till I started this series up today. I was like, really? That's actually pretty nice. That's a, that's a nice little quality of life thing that they did. Because it didn't used to be like that. Alright, let's get some of the 22 ammo. Honestly, I probably should have bought the cheaper ammo because we're only going to use it for the 22 trick. All right, so we're going to be using the 338 because we want to minimize the amount of XP we get per kill. That way we can uh, essentially have more time before we hit level 60 to complete this challenge. Because the less XP we get per kill by using the wrong gun, uh, the more kills we can get before hitting level 60. That's going to be our goal for this series is to prolong it and try to get... 
That great one before level 60, man. All right, so let's go. We don't really need that outpost. That's going to give us XP. We don't really need that one either. We just need the one over here that's really close to this area because Red Deer can be there. So let's head over there. And of course, we'll find zones and hunt them along the way as well. Let's get a going, though. Nice, Chaz. Nice. First diamond level three duck. Nice, Brayden. You love to see it, man. Or is it Bryden? Is it Bryden or Brayden? Either way. Congrats, dude. Are you trying to avoid claiming outposts and lookout towers? I'm trying to avoid anything that's going to give me XP that I don't necessarily get. So, essentially, we are going to avoid claiming unnecessary things that aren't, like, needed for the grind. Because, you know, that's XP that we could... That we could have avoided getting. Because the best chance of us completing this is going to be to do everything we can to limit the amount of XP gain. If we can get more kills and less XP, we'll, gotta, we'll have a better chance of getting this before level 60. Hey, Yasu, how's it going, man? Good to see you, dude. Glad to see a grind from scratch. It's going to be interesting, man. I'm excited for it. I'm very excited for it. Use the ATV. I don't want to spook them as I go, though. Because I need to be discovering zones. Hey, Matthew. How's it going, man? So, guys, I'm thinking about potentially doing a 12-hour, 150k celebration stream where we're just playing on this account right here. Trying to, like, get this great one before level 60. I think that could be a fun way to make progress as well as get the 150k celebration in. In fact, I'm thinking of doing multiple streams for the 150k celebration. One, doing 12 hours of this. And then another one where it's like 12 hours of variety games like Bigfoot and, uh, you know, Phasmophobia, things like that. I'm thinking of doing a couple of uh, 150k streams. Redux, thank you for the 32 months, man. That's crazy. 32 months as a member. Almost at that diamond badge, dude. Almost at the diamond badge. How far in am I? Currently four kills. We just started. Uh, we were trying to get a little bit of money. That way that we could reset the time to Red Deer time. And that's where we are now. We're at Red Deer time. Getting ready to take them on. So if you guys have been around the channel for a while, you'll remember that our very first extreme herd management grind was Red Deer. And on that grind, I didn't know nearly as much about the game as I do now. Like, I didn't know about, you know, managing the solos primarily first. I didn't know about, um, what's it called? The little time reset trick where you can reset the time to get them to show up in their zones. So I got a feeling we can make this grind a lot more efficient than it was back then. And if you guys remember back then, it was a crazy grind we had going. Will this be HM? It will, yes. Because if HM does affect Great Ones, then of course we want to use it. Obviously, there's no confirmation as to whether it does, but I feel like it has to at least help a little bit after the last six to seven months of grinding that I've done where I've taken it further than normal and got more extreme results because of it. And so we're going to do everything we can to increase our chances of hopefully getting a Great One before level 60. Had a diamond elk, but botched it. Oh, no, man. I'm sorry to hear that. That always sucks, dude. Always sucks. Ah, red deer. I know, Kaylin. I know you, you You don't want to see the red deer, but they're here. The red deer are here, and they're here to stay. It's going to be a crazy little grind. No, you haven't missed anything too crazy, uh... Uh, be so for real. You haven't missed anything too crazy. We've killed four red deer, just enough to get, like, ammo, do a time reset, things like that. And now we're gonna go ahead and try to find all of our zones and get some kills going. Try to manage down some of the areas I don't want to grind. I want to make it so I manage, like, this entire half of the map. And then hunt this half, primarily. I also want to manage down, like, these lakes down here. Are they still down there? I think they're still down there, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think they've changed the uh, the home range 
since our last grind. I think we started grinding after the home range changes, so we will have to go down there, I think. If I am not mistaken. So there should be some red deer on this river right here. If there isn't, we'll do a quick time reset and they should show up. Oh, there they are. Okay, we got a five there. Got a five right there. They are not there. There aren't any there. Okay. Maybe there isn't then. If there isn't, then even better. Because that was an annoying area. Actually, yeah, you guys are right. That was before... That was back when they still drank at night that they were there. I, I guess I'm misremembering and mixing my grinds up. There we go. We got a couple there. That's a four. That's a good sign. Already got a four there. Actually, what should we do? The more I think about it, what should we do? Because I don't like this lake up here. Maybe we should make these lakes our main ones. Not this one, obviously, but like these ones right here. Maybe I should try to make those my main ones. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Now in the southwest, perfect. Indeed, Viper, we did. It was the weirdest grind I think I've ever had. It was 126 kills. We only got one diamond the whole time. No rares. And then the great one showed up. It was the strangest grind I've ever had. And I mean, I've done a lot of grinds, and I can't recall a single grind that was that strange from the very beginning. Alright, we gotta be... And then we gotta exit the scope to reload. Or to, uh... Chamber another round. The struggles of no perks and skills. Hate to see you, man. Yeah, this is a pretty crazy looking zone. There's definitely some solos in there. Oh my, oh my gosh, our first level nine. Let's go. <laughs> There's a level nine. Man. Yeah, that's a level nine right there. That's a level nine right there. Is he a part of a herd or is he... Oh, there goes my voice. Is he a part of a herd or is he solo? If he's a solo, we want to kill him. But if he's part of a herd, then we want to leave him. We got a bit of a predicament here, which is unfortunate. Let's take this five real quick. Should be a kill shot right there. Troll? I don't think it's going to be a troll. That rack very rarely trolls. I mean, it can troll, but it's pretty rare. Oh, where were you, bro? Where were you hiding, man? Oh, gosh. We messed up that shot bad on this guy. Okay, we killed him. Perfect. Seven kills into the grind. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, we can't shoot any more right there. We're going to stack that guy for a little bit. Just in case we uh, have him in a herd. We'll have to spot him and then keep track of his zone. So yeah, we'll spot him, and then we'll go up and try to find his zone. How long have I played for? Like, overall, or just today? If you're just talking about today, then uh, we've been playing for 35 minutes. Overall, like, my total time playing is uh, about just under... Actually, probably a little bit over 7,000 amongst all my accounts, my main one, and then all my challenge accounts. Viper, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. No typical rack still. Is that rack, like, rare? Oh, it's very rare. Even iBuy doesn't have one. Both myself and iBuy do not have the typical rack. And, I mean, we grind, like, all the time. 
Neither of us have been able to get it. It is the rarest whitetail rack in the entire game. Did I not hit this one vitally? I might not have. Oh, we didn't hit it vitally. Let's uh let's plop this down here. Just so we can get over here. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's, oh my gosh. What is the rarest great one rack overall? I don't know what the rarest overall is. Not 100% sure what the rarest overall would be. I mean, it's either the typical rack for the whitetail or the 50-50 rack for moose. But that's technically not a rack. That's a combo of two racks, so it doesn't really count. Yeah, it would have to be the typical rack whitetail. That's definitely the rarest one, I would say. Viper, thank you for another super chat, dude. Also, if there's a one in a main zone, can you shoot? Yes, if, if a low level pops up in your main zones, you do want to kill it. Because, you know, that's taking up one of your uh, respawns in your, in your good zones, which you definitely don't want that to be happening. What happened? I messed up the shot. That's what happened. Before True Racks for your Bison, I wanted a diamond. Found three trolls, which two were in the same zone. Finally, a Max White Diamond. Nice, Fletcher. Max White Diamond is beautiful for them. Love to see it. Where did this guy go? Oh, <laughs> yes, that's, oh my gosh. You haven't done a grind here for like a year? I actually have done quite a few grinds here. But they were all for fallow deer. I've done a lot of fallow grinding here on Tiabaroa. But uh, it has been over a year since we've done a grind for red deer. Oh my gosh, no wonder. I hit the wrong one. I hit the wrong deer, man. <laughs> okay. Okay, Call the Wild. Yeah, sure. Sure, Call the Wild. So I, I did aim properly, but this <laughs> this deer just has a massive hitbox. Uh I was so cur I was so curious why we missed that shot. I see why. We got screwed over by Call of the Wild. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. Uh, well we got a couple more to claim over there. He was in the Matrix. Something. Something like that. Just killed an albino Sika deer. Nice, Gavin. That's awesome. Those things are beautiful. I love the albino Sika deer. One of my favorite uh, albinos in the game. You got this, Luciano. I believe in you. I believe in you. I mean, that's basically what this series is going to be, uh, locally hated. That's pretty much what we're going to be doing here. We restarted this account right here and we're going to be grinding from level one clear up to whenever we get a great one and showing the entire process of earning money, uh, setting up a grind, all that stuff. We've already got one level nine on the map, so we're off to a good start. Jebba, welcome back as a super crow, dude. Hope you're doing good, man. Hope you're doing good. How do you deal with solo fallow? Really all you can do is just shoot them and then find out where they go. I would recommend managing them early on in the grind. Because the earlier you manage those down, the better your grind will be overall. Boom. So much for lurking. Hey, sounds about right, dude. Hope you're doing well, Jebba. Uh, it's with the join button, uh, Colton, or the link in the description of this uh, stream. Either will work. 
All right, so we're going to spot that guy, and we're going to go pick up one of his tracks, one of his uh, zone tracks, and see if he's a solo or if he's with a herd. Uh, first, though. We're going to set up a tent over here. And then... Plop down a tripod. Get set up as much as we can around here. There we go. All right. Now into the ATV we go. Because we already discovered all the zones in this area. However, we do need to go probably over here and see if there's one there. Because I believe they can be over there. Why am I using the beginner binocul binoculars? Because we're at level two. It's the only ones I have access to right now. Jebba with the five gifted. Holy crap, Jebba. Thank you so much, dude. Congrats to Aiden, Flanky, Calvin, uh, Faded, and Caleb. Y'all just got gifted some gifted memberships. Be sure to say thank you. Holy, 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 holy. Jebba the legend. There we go. Okay, perfect. We're not going to claim the outpost because we do not want to earn any unnecessary XP. This is a different account. Chiefs, this is a different account. Alright, so we need... There goes my voice again. It's dying like crazy. There we go. YouTube lacking on notifications. Sounds about right. Typical YouTube, man. Nothing new there. YouTube just doing its thing. Failing to do its thing. <laughs> yeah, I've been a little bit uh, sick with like a mild cold recently, Matthew. At least I'm pretty sure it's a cold. My nose has been like super plugged up. My ear is kind of like a... Uh, my ear's got that feeling of, like, water in it. You know when, like, it feels like you got water in your ear, but you don't? My right ear's been like that for, like, the last three days. Pretty sure I've got, like, a mild cold. It is what it is, though. One hour left of drink time. Need a decongestant? Definitely. I definitely do. What is the easiest great one? Probably the fallow deer. Fallow deer overall seems to be the easiest if I were to pick one. Later, Cuckoo Plays. Appreciate you dropping in. Viper, thank you for another super chat. Oh my gosh, Crow, driving right now. I thought the noise from your ATV was coming from my truck. Made me think something broke on it. Oh no, man. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> sorry I spooked you, man. I'm sorry I spooked you. I wasn't trying to, I promise. Thank you for the super chat, though. What was the 60th great one? It was a big rack fallow, or not fallow, it was a big rack uh, white tailed deer. No, it's not an ear infection. Definitely not. There's no pain or anything. It's just like an annoying... It's just like fluid in the ear. 
Most of the time it goes away normal. I mean, I've had it probably three or four times throughout my childhood. It always cleared itself up for me. Some people aren't as lucky, though. For some people, it does turn into an ear infection or, like, prolongs the, uh, the, just the weird feeling of there being fluid in your ear. How hard is Red Deer? It's not the easiest grind, but it's also not the toughest. It's kind of like in the middle. What's the favorite diamond or rare that I've killed? Ooh, I don't know. Favorite diamond or rare? Not feral pig drink zone. Let me think. Oh. Is that the one that we've spooked off? I don't think it is. Are you telling me they can be on that side now? What? Down he goes. RIP that level five, man. What's your plan for this account? Get a great one before level 60. So I'm going to be trying to get as little bit of XP as I possibly can so we level up super slow and can get more kills before hitting level 60. Got some pig tracks. Okay. Another pig zone. There used to be a red deer zone somewhere over here. I don't know if we'll have one on this playthrough. Because it is a little bit different from uh, person to person. Yeah, we definitely don't. So we only have that one back there. Very interesting. So I think we're just going to plop this over here. Mm, actually, I kind of need to keep this. Actually, no, because we can use the outpost right here for those. We'll put this down right here for now. 4,000 credits. Let's get a little more ammo. And then we're going to save the rest of the money for time resets and stuff like that. Uh, let's ATV over to that guy. Seven kills on the grind. Let's go. Is that the 338? It is indeed. 338 for the win. Because 338 will give us less XP than using the proper rifle. That is what we're going with. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and ATV part of the way, but not all the way. Uh, there'll be red deer right there, so we can go about till 500 meters away. How'd you get the 338 so fast? It's a DLC weapon. You don't have to unlock them. Nice, Clay Drew. Nice. Yeah, you can drop TV. Uh, don't, don't worry, though. I didn't know about it until... Probably a few months ago was when I discovered you could go across there. I didn't realize it either. Uh, between 60 and 75, depending on the person. Uh, Dex, it, it differs from person to person. No, it's not the single shot. It's the bolt action one. And off we go.
Hey, Turtle, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Good to see you, Turtle. Can't believe I messed up my first diamond because I used the wrong gun. Ooh, I've done that a couple times too, man. It's rough. No, this isn't my main account, uh, Colt. This is the beginner series account. I reset it and have repurposed it to being a great one before level 60 account. Um, I definitely wouldn't say that I'm the best player, Roman. There's players that are way better than me. Appreciate it, Turtle. How many drink zones are there for Fallow in Tiaboroa? Anywhere from 35 to like 45 is what I typically see from people. I only have like 36. But I know that there's a few... People that I've talked to that have like 45 of them. Level right now, level two. We're not uh, not super leveled yet. We've had like seven kills. We're primarily trying to find our zones and then killing anything that we can at them. Did I play the Hunter Primal back in the day? I did, man. I loved that game. I wish they would have continued developing it. It's unfortunate that they abandoned it after a while. It is what it is, though. Oh, me too, Drop TV. Me too. I did the same thing for a very long time. So hopefully we've got good zones over here for the Red Deer. Oh. Uh, that's a bunch of solos there. So we want to leave that level four. There's a four there. Yeah, there's a lot of solos over here so far. Not liking that. Lots of solos. <laughs> oh, man. Mythical. Okay. Lots of zones over here as always. Love to see you, man. We definitely want to prioritize shooting that big male over there. I think he's in a herd as well. Actually, now that I think of it, we should probably prioritize shooting the solos that are not level 4. The sooner we can cycle through these solos, the better. There's a 3. Love to see it. There's so many solos over here. Dude, are like all the solos at this lake? <laughs> Amazing. Let's verify real quickly again which ones are lower level. Okay, so we need to shoot that guy and that guy first, and then try to get him as well. That's going to be tough, though. It's going to be tough with not being able to uh, take more than one shot before having to exit the scope. Um, I don't know what I watched there. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Yes, yeah, two more down. Three. That's ten kills on the grind. Although that was a bad shot. Never mind. Definitely not a ten kills yet because we whiffed a shot hard. Uh, let's go get the outpost. Let's go grab the outpost, and then we'll head back over here. We badly need to get money for a new tent. We badly need a new tent. We can pop that guy for sure. I'm currently
currently at level two, Calvin. So I think this is a herd right here. So this actually might be a good one to grind as like a main zone, potentially. We'll have to see where we get other herds. I'll check it later, Tien. Yes, the Labrador Retriever is a DLC. It is paid DLC. Yeah, this is a this is a different account than my main one, uh, Calvin. This is this used to be the beginner series account, but we reset it and are now doing great one before level 60 series on it. Hopefully we can complete it, man. Hopefully we can complete it. What is the highest paying animal? I think lions technically are. But if you're just wanting to make a crap load of money, I wouldn't recommend hunting lions over some of the other stuff. Lions can be good, but there's very few of them on the map. I would recommend, if you really want to go for like the best money maker, I have found Roosadier to be insane. They have such a small home range, and they give like 1,500 cash or more a piece. It's actually kind of crazy how much money you can make from Roosadier. I don't think there's going to be too many people that even know that they're that good, though, just because Roosadier are a nighttime drink zone animal, which is not a super popular thing. No clue, Claydra. I've never really measured it. And that's all going to depend on, like, if you're using the correct gun, if you're, like, uh... Like, if you're using the correct gun, you're going to get more XP. So I'm using the improper gun for everything, just to make sure that I don't get unnecessary XP. Okay, so we got to remember to come back here and claim these. But I want to go over to this lake. Before I use the ATV to go drive around there. How much cash you got now? Well, once we go claim all of them, we should have around 10k. Biggest thing right now is earning money to get more uh, tents. If we can get more tents, that's going to be great. Red Deer is good for money as well. It, it really is. Red Deer is good for money. Oh, we're so close to leveling up. One more kill. One more kill, man. And we will have another perk. We're currently level two, Roman. Currently level two on this one. Oh, we got a full herd here. That's a four. A seven. Oh, there's a couple of herds here. Although it could be a couple of solo males. And then, like, a, a full-size herd. The 12th kill of the grind. Lots of solos again. Yeah, there's so many solos at these two lakes. This might make it pretty easy to chase them around, though. I imagine you guys can already see why I always say that Tiabaroa is miles above the other maps in terms of Red Deer. I mean, look at how many we're seeing already, and we barely even search the map. They're so condensed in, like, a small area. It's insane. It is absolutely insane. It is, like, miles better than trying to chase around solos on... There's a piebald female. We got a piebald hind. I see it. I see a piebald hind back there. Nice. We got ourselves a little mascot for the grind. 
And a big boy mythical there. Holy crap, man. There's so many red deer. Oh, I had missed Tiabaroa red deer grinding. I had missed this, man. I had missed this. It's just so good. Yeah, as I was saying, like, you can see why I always said that this is, like, it's not even comparable to other maps. It is so far above anything else in terms of how easy it is to find all of your red deer. That guy's giving us a good shot, and now he's dead. There we go. Didn't delete his own either. Just insane, man. Just insane. Now we should get enough XP and money to level up and be able to purchase a tent once we claim everything. There's the level up. Let's keep walking. And it's a perk point. Sprint and load is going to be pretty useful. Uh, muscle memory is also going to be nice. Being able to ready our next shot without having to leave aim mode. So we're going to go with that first. Nice, Colton. Nice, dude. Does PC get DLCs before console? Nope. They get them at the same time. Is Yukon good for a moose grind? Uh, it's not great, but it's not bad either. It's kind of middle of the road. Not the worst, but not the best. Just kind of in the middle. Do I have a tent on me? No, I don't. Sardoscope looks weird on the 338. It definitely does, man. It 100% does. Hey, Cooper. Or Coopler. How's it going? Yeah, Yukon has way too many moose for my liking. But then again, that's just because I herd manage, so I need as low a populations of an animal as possible to make it, like, the most efficient. But, uh, I could see, like, if you're not doing herd management, Yukon's probably not that bad. But if you're herd managing, it's gonna be, gonna be a struggle. Because I am Call the Wild fan, this is a different account. If you uh, saw the title, this is the Great One Before Level 60 challenge. We're trying to get a Great One before hitting level 60. We're going to see if we can do it. Vital Organ hit. Ooh, we should get the Bloodhound out as well. We need to get the Bloodhound out to help us track stuff. Did it float? No. There it is. Imagine you get a great one today. I doubt that'll happen, but we can hope. What do I rate Silver Ridge Peaks? I'd say it's like an 8 out of 10 map. It used to be a 10 out of 10, but then they changed a few things around, like taking away Mountain Goat drink time and making... The uh, bears drink at night instead of in the day. It's a good map, but it's not like a, a top three map for me anymore because of the changes they made to it. Uh, we already found a diamond. We just haven't shot it yet, uh, Hamster. We found a diamond, we just haven't shot it because we're stacking it to help herd manage faster. Yeah, Emerald Coast is a really good map. It's my favorite as well. Really, really good map. Alright, let's drive around and get these over here. What is the fastest way to make money in Call of the Wild? 
mean, there's a lot of ways that are good for money. I don't know which is the fastest, but... Because, like, I can really only go off of what I've done myself. Bruce deer seem like they're going to be pretty fast. So do crocodiles. Um, red deer is always a great option. Lions can be pretty decent as well. But, you know, a lot of it comes down to, like, whatever you're fastest at grinding. Whatever you can kill, like, whichever of those species you can kill the fastest, then that's probably going to be the one that's going to be best for you. Like, let's say Rusa deer are, like, the best for money. But you already have a red deer setup going. Red deer's probably going to end up being faster for you because you've already got a setup for it. Oh, we're drifting. Oh, my gosh. It wasn't there one over there. Hold on. Let me, let me go back. I think we missed one. I know I wounded one, but I think I also vitally hit one of them. There should be one dead not too far away from there. Because I swear we got a good shot on one of these over here. Yeah, that's, that's vital blood for sure. Yeah, medium bleed rate. Perfect. Grace, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Love your content. Your videos are great. Thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Very, very nice of you. What is the rarest trophy I've ever killed in the Hunter Call of the Wild? Let's see. I would say rarest trophy I've ever killed in Call of the Wild. Probably... Man, if we're just going by rarity... Probably my 50-50 rack uh, Fabled Oak Great One Moose, just because 50-50 rack moose are not super common. They're not a super common occurrence. Non-vital. Ooh. Ouch. Hate to see it. Common Moose Great One? Yeah, but that's something you can't really, like... You can't get that anymore. And also, at the time that I got it, it wasn't, like, an incredibly rare thing, because it was guaranteed to be that, pretty much. But I wouldn't say that that's my rarest. Uh, your bucks are moving to other places, Garen. You have to figure out where they've gone. 11,665 currency. We're getting up there. Not quite there yet, though. What DLC are Rusa on? They're on Emerald Coast. Um, I don't know when I'll do another no DLC playthrough video. No clue. Uh, let's do a quick little main menu. What's up, Zacky? Best map for Mule Deer and Eat a Diamond? A lot of people say Parquet is the best. I've kind of found that Rancho, Silver Ridge, and Parquet are all good for Mule Deer. So it's kind of just up to what you prefer, really. They're all pretty solid. Faded, thank you for the eight months. Dude, welcome back. Bear is the bear's great one. Oh, that was a great one. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 I guess. <laughs> you good, Faded? You good, bro? Okay, let's go ahead. Since we're out of tents, we need some hunting pressure reduction. So let's just do this. Boom. What is my favorite four to eight rifle? Let's see. Probably the 308 AR. It's really good. Get new scope, don't have the money for it. And I don't think I've unlocked it yet either. What's the best map for a great one, Moose? If you're doing herd management, then Layton is probably your best bet. 
If you're not doing herd management, Revon Tuli and Medved are going to be at the top. Yeah, it's it's doing that, unfortunately, Metal Man. It's struggling. That's the four. He gets to live. Goodbye, little level four. New England moose. <laughs> Ew. New England moose? Disgusting. Oh. There's a five there. Are there level one male red deer? No, they only go down to level two. Yeah, my tents have not been safe either, Zaki. They've been getting ripped down left and right. Okay. Another one bites the dust. There's level six. Yeah, not gonna get him. Oh well, it is what it is. You know, I just thought of something as well. It probably won't hurt too much if we delete zones early on. Because, like, there's not too many places they can even go on Tiawaroa. So I don't think it's even going to be a problem if we delete stuff. No, Cayman, this is a different account. This is a separate account from my main... Level six there. Nice. Smoked him. What are we at currently? So it has 15 harvests, which means we've killed about 17 because I left two of them. So we're at about 17 kills then. Nice, Metal Man. Nice, dude. Uh, these are just the default binoculars. It's just the, the starter ones. The first ones you get when you start the game. Yeah, I can't shoot that. We're going to delete the zones. Like, I'm not going to purposely try to delete zones. I don't think it'll hurt if I do, but I'm not going to purposely try to. I don't think we got vitals. Yeah, it's definitely not vital blood. Oh, well. Yeah, it's a pretty crazy lake, uh, Metal Man. It's pretty crazy. What rack do you think I'll get for Great One Whitetail? I'm going to say big rack. I feel like you'll get a big rack. How long have I been playing? I've been playing since day one of this game's release. Actually, since before then even. Because I got a chance to play in the closed beta back in December of 2016. I was wondering if there's a way to fix the fact that all of the footprints on screen don't show up. Yes, if you're on keyboard and mouse, press control. There's a keybind for it that will turn tracks off and on. Um, if you're on console, I don't know what the key would be, but you can go into your uh, controller like inputs and stuff, and it'll tell you like what they're set to the uh, the key bindings. It'll tell you like what key you need to press to get it back. Where did we get this thing? Where did we hit it? Uh, <laughs> very low again. Oh, well. Oh, well, man. It is what it is, you know. It is what it is. Different account, Ryland. Different account. 
just like the uh, the title of the stream says, this is the um, great one before level 60 series. There's the level 9 we're stacking, by the way. Alright, let's probably kill... I'd like to get one of these two here. I mean, ideally, I'd like to get that guy, but he's behind the nine, so I don't want to risk shooting him. Man, this is going to be a struggle with that reload. Oh, I forgot. We don't got to exit the scope anymore. I'm an idiot. But you guys already knew that. I also didn't hit vitals there. Rip. No, this isn't Hirschfeld. This is Tiabaroa. Your tents are going left and right. Ooh. Feels bad, man. Hate to see it, brother. Gotta back up farther to get them to render in. That's a four. This scope is really awful. I do not miss having to use this scope at all. Nothing. Oh, man. All right, so let's get over here. There should be a five there that we can kill. What is the new great one I'd like to see? An elk. Please give me an elk. Yes, Mickey, there will be. There will be indeed. We got to get closer because this just is not cutting it. Excuse me. Crap. Well, that one died. I'm not going to go claim it, though. It's too far away. Be too much of a waste of time. Yeah, it's pretty It's pretty fun for bird hunting, for sure, ghosts. At the same time as always, Mickey, we never change the time for Tackle Tuesday. It'll always be 6 p.m. PST. By shooting the males of that species, hamster... It can take a very, very long time, though, sometimes. So don't expect it to, to pop up immediately. There we go. Finally got a kill, man. Finally got a kill. About time. Bruce City, a great one would be cool, for sure. Definitely would be cool. Nice, Clay Drew. And level up. That's going to be a skill point. And plop that into spotting knowledge. Boom. Honestly, I probably don't need this tent to be over here at the moment. I probably don't need it right there. I doubt I'll get a solo to go there super often, and if I do, I can always just drive over there and check. Or I guess walk over there and check, not drive. There we go. Also, while I'm over here, I need to drop a stand over there. Yes, Hunter, I do. Check out the uh, the second channel to see some of the games that I play on, like in my free time.
Okay, that's probably good right there. Think that is good. So we got that set up. Now we need to get up here. First, though, let's head down here and see if we got a zone there. Or see if we've got any males there. No, Damien. The only payment I get for playing the Hunter Call of the Wild is early access to new updates. That's that's all I get for being a uh, EW partnered creator. Is opportunities to play updates a little bit early. Okay, we need to leave that guy. We need to kill the one over here, not him. That guy. Missed. Oof. This dude, thank you so much for the uh, gifted membership. Did I miss a membership as well? Chris, thank you for becoming a member, man. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channel, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. And this dude, thank you so much for the uh, gifted membership. Congrats to Zaki for getting that. All right, we need a little more 338 ammo. There's going to be a constant balance of buying ammo and saving up for tents. Yeah, the river zones can be a little rough from time to time. If I leave one to two level four fallow, but the rest of the map is pretty well managed, does it hurt the HM a lot? Um, not a ton. It'll hurt it a, a tiny bit, but not like a substantial amount. You should be fine. 1100 cash. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go main menu. <laughs> hey, Ben, how's it going, dude? <laughs> that is hilarious. What I've heard management affects all species in great ones, but the long grinds are just dry streaks like you get with diamonds while grinding. It could be. You never know. Anything is possible, man. Well, we killed at least one of them. I mean, they'll all die eventually, because 338 is a powerhouse of a round. But we dropped one of them. I don't think we got more than that, though. I think the other two shots were not good. Would I like to have a reindeer great one? I'd like every single animal in the game to have a great one eventually. Reindeer would be one that I definitely would consider like a top, a top pick for myself. They could be pretty good. Yeah, no organs hit. Unfortunate. Hey, Gelting, how's it going? Hey, Jay Hunter. And for those curious why we go to the main menu, this is why. Because now, they're back in their zone unspooked. Speeds up your grind a lot. And especially right now, it saves us money on like time resets and things. You want a medium rack, great one, so bad. Yeah, I like the mid rack and the small rack the best for uh, red deer. They look good.
So I kill level four for my great one red deer grind? No, leave the level fours alive. What would I rate Medved? Ah, uh, like a... 6.5 or 7 out of 10, maybe. Probably like a 6.5. I feel like it's lacking still in species. But it's a lot better than it used to be. It used to be pretty rough. What levels should you shoot for fallow deer? So for fallow deer, you want to be shooting level three and above. Okay, that guy's definitely a solo. That nine is definitely a solo, I think. So we're probably going to end up having to kill him instead of stacking him. Oh, man, this scope is rough getting used to, man. I think I think we got him, though. Yeah, we got him. We got a good shot on him that time. Caleb, thank you for becoming a member, man. Enjoy all the perks that come with that, the emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool things. All right, nothing else there, thankfully. That zone is all solos for you. Oof, ouch, man. Rough. Hate to see it. Hate to see it, bro. That's a three. That's what we love to see. I'm currently on Tiabaroa. Good old Tiabaroa. One of my favorite maps of all time. Uh, we almost have enough money to buy ourselves another tent, man. We're so close. So close to being able to afford another tent. Okay, there's vital hit there, which means it's probably right there. How do you do herd management? You just don't shoot the low levels and only shoot the high levels. For red deer, you just shoot five and above, leave four and below. And uh, over time, you will start to see more diamonds showing up. It is a pretty insane grinding method. All right, we could check that one, but I don't think we should yet. I think we should go over here and drop down like a tent and some stuff there. YouTube's lying saying you have no connection. That's unfortunate. No, I do picks, but I already used all of them. I've already used all of the, the four tents that you get to start with. So I have to purchase more of them. I think we'll go with the camo ones. Actually, now let's go with the blue ones. Boom. We still got enough ammo to get us by a bit longer. I need to set up a tent over here. Thinking we'll set it like there approximately. What's the point of stacking diamonds? So stacking diamonds just helps you get low levels faster. Because obviously if you're stacking up a bunch of low levels to get more high levels to uh, show up, then it's going to get harder and harder to get more low levels to show up over time. So you stack diamonds to counteract that. You're essentially stacking level one, like a level four and below to get more diamonds, and you're keeping those diamonds to get more level four and below. And then whenever you've got all of your exterior zones managed down to fours and below, and the only ones that have stuff higher are like your main grinding zones that you want to grind for the rest of your, uh, your grind, then you go through and kill all the level nines. And if done properly you should start getting a lot more diamonds after that. It's easier to explain through videos. I've got videos on the channel that kind of go through everything in detail from stage one all the way through. So I would recommend checking out the herd management guides playlist if you want a, a more in-depth 
description of it, but that's essentially the quick of it. Twenty-seven kills on the grind. How do you grind fallow deer? Are you talking about for herd management? If you're wanting to herd manage fallow deer, just leave the uh, twos and below. You can also leave the really small level threes that look like a two. Like if they're approximately the same size, you can leave them. Boom, 28 kills in an hour and a half. But you know, that's the beginning of a grind for you. Everything is slower at the beginning of a grind. This over there, about 173. Hmm. They're not going to render in super well. How far away is this over here? About 170 as well. Uh, not super great positioning. It's like once we can manage a couple zones down, it'll be a little bit easier to set things up. I think for now we're gonna have to drop a zone or a tent over there. Hey Ash, how's it going? It is Tackle Tuesday indeed. Later tonight we'll be doing some angler for the Tackle Tuesday. What level do you not shoot for red deer herd management? You don't shoot the fours or anything below level four. Fours and below get to live. Five and above get to get smoked every single time. Yeah, this should be fine over here. Okay, so we got a blind down. This will help with the hunting pressure a little bit. Nice. Love to see it. Okay. Let's pop in here real quick. Oh, gosh. Uh, this shot's going to suck. Having to make this. Got him second time. I don't know if it was good though. Nope. I kind of figured. Way too long of a shot to have to make. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh well. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. How many kills? 28 so far. We're still pretty early in this grind, though. We need to earn money for tents mainly right now. Once we've earned some money for tents, it's going to speed up a lot. Yes, Silas, there's a new update today. The uh, Labrador Retriever DLC has been officially added to the game. Now, let's head down to here. Try to get a couple of kills over there. Yeah, hopefully we can get a better scope soon. That would definitely be nice. That would definitely be really nice. Bloodhound or Retriever? Like, which one would I recommend? Uh, if you like hunting birds more than big game, then get the retriever. If you hunt more big game or need help tracking, then get the bloodhound. 
you know, both of them have their purposes in the game. And depending on what you like more, it's going to be uh, different as to like which one I would recommend. Ling level 7. Would have been nice to kill him. Oh well. That's a big boy level 8. I accidentally clicked down on middle mouse. Love to see it. Love to see it, brother. Love to see it. We killed him, though. We killed him, though, and that's all that matters. That was such a weird glitch. What is up with deer and interacting with the water this update? They're struggling around water. Are you not vitally hit or are you vitally hit? I can't even tell what he what's going on with him. Well, he'll die eventually, just not super super quick. You ever thought of doing a super rare wolf grind? Not really faded. I've never been super super into like grinding wolves. I like hunting them every once in a while just to like switch it up. But I couldn't see myself, like, doing a full-on grind for them. There we go. Also, did I... Have I got anything for this? No. So I gotta get a trophy score of 200 or above and pass the harvest check. That's actually something I should be working on now that I think of it, because that's going to be good money. So if we find level 7s or above... We're going to start shooting them with a 308 just to try and complete that mission there. Because <laughs> that'll be really, really good to complete. I think this other one did die. I think it did. Ooh, a bunch of the solos ended up over here. Perfect. Holy solos, man. So many solos at this lake here. Did it reset maps? Nope, it did not. It did not. Yep, because that would be breaking the rules, Gelting. Don't break the rules and nothing will happen. Crazy how that works, right? If you, if you listen to the moderators and don't break the rules, you won't get timed out. Who would have thought? What was the 60th great one? It was a big rack white tail deer. TTK, what's up, dude? Hope you're doing good, TTK. Whoa! Catch your breath. So tough to catch your breath with no skills and perks, or very minimal ones at least. Great one, Lion would be cool, like you said last live stream. It would. It would be a really, really cool addition, I think. It'd be different from anything that we currently have, too. It'd be very, very different. You know, since there's no, like, full-size herds over here, I could probably delete these zones and not have to worry about it, because it's all solos. They're just going to go to, like, other areas around here anyway. What is that guy right there? A six, okay. They're all level sixes, I think. However, they're not giving me a good shot, so we're just gonna go claim these real quick. We definitely got both of those with the 308. Welcome back, Caitlin. Yeah, that would definitely be cool. A scarred up Great One Lion would be amazing. That would be super, super cool. Great One Fallow's floating in the water? Oh no, Chess, that's got to be the most scary thing ever. Just hoping that nothing strange happens on the way. <laughs> Ooh. Rough, dude. Rough.
Boom. And neither of them scored over 200, so did not count for the uh, daily mission on the Hunt Club. However, we got a perk point. We could do sprint and load, or we could work on steady hands and breath control. Breath control, I think, is going to be a necessity. Oh, zeroing, though. Mm, we can get away with that not being a thing for a little bit longer. Let's go breath control. Breath control is going to be pretty important right now. How do you grind moose in what map? Um, it depends. Are you wanting to do herd management or are you wanting to just do a shoot everything grind? Because my answer will be different depending on like what you're thinking of doing. Gotcha, Chaz. Gotcha. <laughs> That's pretty wild that your uh, Great One Fallow floated. I would have been so scared watching it float. Like, ah, please don't crash. Please don't crash. I was scared the crap out of me, man. It's a series, Ian. If you read the, the title of the stream, it tells you what it is. Maybe I need a pinned comment as well. Nothing over there. Okay, let's do a quick little main menu, and then we'll do a time reset. Yes, herd management. If you're going to do herd management, Layton's the best to do it on for moose. Layton has the lowest population of moose of any map, which means it'll be... It'll take less time to manage down. All right. Let's get the time reset back to eight. Do a Great One Fallow Grind, please. We've done a lot of Great One Fallow Grinds in the past. Uh, I've got other grinds that I'm trying to do as of now. Alright, maybe I should be resetting the time before going to main menu. Yes, this is an HM grind here. It is. Fabled Silver thought for a second that it was a 270 plus white. That's incredible, man. That's insanity. Congrats on that, dude. Love to see it. You know, what we don't love to see is the red deer not being in their zone. Hate to see it, man. What level do you shoot for Moose HM? So you want to be shooting the threes and above. You can leave the really tiny threes. But I'm talking like super small level threes. And that five is practically a four. And that's a three. Yeah, there was definitely a lot of solos here, man. There was a lot of solos here. How many diamonds do you average in a Great One Fallow grind? Um, We're very, very deep into herd management on our Fallow grind. So I'm getting a diamond like every 10 kills. And because of that, most of our fallow grinds end up having like 40, 50, 60, 100 diamonds before the great one shows up. Uh, but it can vary from grind to grind a little bit. Am I stacking right now? Yes, we are. However, I am going to kill this nine most likely at some point because it's a solo. It's a solo level nine, which is not good. We don't want it to be a solo if we're going to be stacking it. Is it good to kill solos while moose grinding? Um, you will need to kill solos if you're doing herd management. If you're not herd managing, I would say don't worry about it because they are quite annoying to chase around. So if you're not doing HM, don't bother killing them. If you are doing herd management, you will have to kill solos. And I would recommend killing them early on in the grind and trying to manage them down fast. Because otherwise, they're just a, a major problem to get them managed down because they move so much. Thank you, Faded. Appreciate it. So let's hope 
Let's hope that people actually read the pinned comment. But we know that never happens, so. <laughs> yeah, boo to the solos. Solos are the worst. Boo! Luckily, we got a level four here. Ma'am, don't you walk in front of him. That is very uncalled for. <laughs> very, very uncalled for. Do a slow walk over here. I did not say you could go alert. Stop that. Stop that. Down he goes. Love to see it. 36 kills into the great one before level 60 challenge. What's my favorite way to make money? Roosted ear hunting on Emerald Coast. Typically, though, I don't really need to do, like, separate grinds like that for money because most of my Great One grinds end up making a lot of money. Like, uh, Black Bear grinding. It, it's really annoying to get set up. Like, it is super annoying to get a Black Bear grind set up. But once you kind of got it going good and you kind of understand your bears and how their respawns work, bears make the most money I've ever seen. Like, black bear grinding has made me so much money. Like, a, a few hundred thousand per day. Just hunting probably three to five hours a day. Make a couple hundred K easily. If you can get the bears to behave properly, then they are a gold mine. A gold mine for currency. Uh, let's do a quick little reset. It's only 375 for that one, so let's do it to get these in their zone. Couple level six males. Oh, he moved. Should be two dead. Oh, I didn't know that you were here. I didn't know that one rendered in and that one. I thought I was too close to them, but I guess I wasn't. Oh, well. We're going to attempt this. 308 because trying to complete that daily mission. I think we may have got it. Oh, we definitely got one of them. One of them definitely died. Do I need to update the game? Yes, there was an update today, so you would definitely need to update your game if you haven't already. Okay, get a little bit of ammo. Should be good. How do I set up a moose grind? Um, the same way that you would set up any grind, really. Find all your zones. Set up your tents around zones. It's kind of hard to explain without, like, being on the map to show you how to do a moose grind. I would recommend just checking out some of the moose content I've done in the past. Like, if you just, like, if you go to the channel and then use the little search bar on the channel and just type in, like, a uh, moose, it should bring up, like, every moose video that I've ever done. And, like, early on in the grinds, I talk about, like, what I'm doing. I talk about, like... How I'm herd managing them. I talk about how I'm setting up and things like that. I would use that as a reference. Because it's been so long since I've set up for moose that I'm not going to be probably the best at explaining it. It has been a while since I did set up. What, Crazy Taco? Uh, yeah, Cosmix. Uh, check the pinned comment. Do 
Did we get both of these? We may have got both of them. We may have got vitals on both of these. That would be huge if we did. Those ones spooked off, but it is what it is. Ooh, we got a four there. Nice, nice, nice. Love to see it. Love to see it, man. We got vitals on both of these as well. Can these be over 200? Yes. Okay, that's going to complete part of the Hunt Club mission. Nice, Crazy Taco. Need to watch a crow moose setup. Yeah, moose can be kind of tough. You know, I still need to do a moose guide as well. All right, skill point. Let's put that into here as well. Spotting knowledge. Or what else can we get here? We don't really need the ones that are like soft feet and only happy when it rains because we're not going to be getting close to them. Endurance is something I'd like to get to eventually. But like none of these are super necessity for the type of playthrough that this is. Let's get more for spotting knowledge. Boom. Love to see it. Is your main lodge just millions of ones? Are you, wait, are you talking like level one whitetail or something? Or, you, or did you mean great ones? Um, I have a great one lodge and then I have my main lodge. My main lodge is like everything that's not from a great one grind. And then my great one lodge is all my great ones and then like a lot of the super rares and rares and like big diamonds that I got along those grinds. Alrighty. Kill number 41. Let's go. I have 2,000 videos. I have posted something every day for over three and a half years. On many days, I'll do a stream and a video. And videos and streams both count to the videos on your channel. YouTube shorts count as well. And I post a lot of shorts. But yeah, I've posted at least like a short or a video or a stream. Usually multiple. Every single day for three and a half years. How is that not vitals? Are you joking? How? What? That makes no sense. Oh, well. Uh, I really only give moderator to, like, close friends of mine, TN. Close friends of mine. Um. Sometimes I'll give moderator to people that moderate for close friends of mine. But I don't give it to just anybody. It's like I have to know somebody pretty well to trust them with it. Did we get him? Okay, we got him that time. Love to see it. What map am I on? This is Tiabaroa. One of my favorite maps of all time. Easy top three. Easy top three. Yes, Cosmics, I am. We're currently level six, so it's all I got at the moment. We should be able to get the Hyperion very soon, though. In fact, we might have enough rifle score. Let's see what we're at. So we're at 1,300 rifle score. Okay, we can definitely get the Hyperion, I think. But the question is, do I want to get that over a brand new tent? See, these are the decisions we got to make. Do I get a new scope or do I get a new tent? Because both will help the grind. And it's like, we're doing okay with the uh, current setup for our scope, but... I don't know. There's our legendary. I think it's about time we take it down. I do want to do one more thing before, though. I need to real quickly verify 
that it actually is in a separate zone. So we're going to spot him and then go try to find his drink zone track. Also, let's give this guy real quick. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I didn't go how I planned it. Yeah, I think scope might be better. Now, now that I'm thinking of it, maybe scope is what I should go with. <laughs> maybe I should buy another scope. <laughs> All right, let's find his tracks. This is his track right here. For Mr. Big Male. Um, the video is literally titled Face Reveal, uh, Crazy Taco. So whatever video is titled Face Reveal is the one I did the face reveal in. Here's his zone. Oh, it doesn't say the size. I don't have that unlocked yet. Well, I guess we're leaving that nine alive then, because there's no way to tell if he's from a herd or if he's a solo. I think he's a solo? But I don't want to make the mistake of shooting one that's in a herd because I want to stack any that are in herds. Crazy, bro. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Probably never, Garen. I don't like face cam. I don't like it. It's just extra pressure I don't need when streaming. Nothing over here. But we got a couple over here. Find two trick at Doe and see if he travels. True, true. I didn't think about that. That could work. We got a bunch of fives over there. Please come back as fours. Less time I got to deal with solos, the better. So I'm hoping that they'll come back as something tiny. I think we killed three there. I think we actually did get three there. If so, that'd be nice. I think we got vitals on all three of them. Hey, Johnny, we're uh, doing a great one before level 60 challenge, so I'm just trying to get a great one to spawn before hitting level 60. We started a fresh account at level 1. Uh, we've got up to level 6 in the two hours that we've been streaming. We're going to see if we can make this happen. Okay, those just rendered in. He's a four, though. So that guy gets to live. That guy gets to see another day. Yes, I do have some of the DLC on the restarted account, because this used to be my beginner's playthrough account. But we repurposed it for this series here. Okay, not vital hit on the second one. Not vitals. Yeah, it's been a while ago, Crazy Taco. It's been a while ago. I've done other face cam videos since then. It's just not my primary thing that I do because I'm not a big fan of it. Definitely killed one of these. Non-vital. I don't think any of them were vitals, though. Ugh. Rip. That's unfortunate, man. That is unfortunate. We're almost at 16,000. We just need a couple more kills. Just a couple more kills. And we will be able to afford another tent or the Hyperion. I think... I, I don't know which one to go with. I'm so stuck on, like, which one we should go with. 
I'm thinking we check this first. Okay, so we did complete one of them for 500. Now we need five more of them scoring 200 or above. Okay. We only need to get one more kill to get over 16,000 again. No, Tien. Have I got any super rare bison? Sadly, no. Never have. Really, Mr. Red Deer? You're not even going to warning call before you run? Come on. Come on, man. That's just rude. Come on, Hill. You're going to block my shots. Come on. <laughs> Unbelievable. What is that guy doing? Bugging out again. What? What is up with this zone right here? Like, they always bug out every single time. Oh, he's dying. There we go. We got a good enough shot into him. 46 kills on the grind. Unfortunate, Clay Drew. I believe in you, man. You got this. You got this, dude. Now, I'm not going to do a pull for it because... I myself have not decided which one I think is going to be more beneficial for the grind. Because with this, I'm going to be going with whatever is, I think is most beneficial to the grind in progressing through this. Let's see if we can make this shot here. I think that might have been good. Might have been good. We'll see. No, they respawn as a different animal, uh, Wolf, Wolf Brother. They respawn as a different animal, but they can't respawn as a great one as far as I know. That's essentially how it is. Like, if you don't claim it, it's not going to respawn as a great one from what we've been told and what we've seen as a, uh, as a community. But it will respawn as a different animal. Because there's people that will just never claim during a grind and get diamonds and rares. So they definitely pop up as something different. But uh, we've kind of been hinted to the fact that you can't get a great one if you're just leaving everything. But leaving like a few here or there that you hit poorly isn't going to negatively affect your grind. Alright. Steady up. Steady up. We got two level sevens here. Ooh, that's a big mythical over there. So one of the solos came back as a mythical. Definitely don't want solo mythicals. We need to be uh, managing those down to fours. I think we got both of those sevens. Hit vitally, I'm pretty sure. At least one of them died. Both of them died. Perfect. Love to see it. Now let's get this big male here. He is 256 away. That's far, man. I think that should be good, though. Yeah, he's dead. Nice, nice. That is a big mail right there. Gotcha, Clay Drew. Gotcha. Didn't claim, like, five deer in two runs because of poor shot. Messed up my grind a bit. Some spawned... Like new solos? Oh, I've never had that happen, Samuel. That probably was related to something else that happened then. 
Because, like, that's... If you don't claim a couple of them, it's not going to screw up, like, where they spawn. It... It might have been something different. Like, maybe you accidentally shot an extra deer from a zone that you normally wouldn't. Because the only time that I have a zone mess up badly from... You know, stuff that I had done, it's typically because I shot too many out of a zone. Or... I accidentally shot a doe, or something like that. Not gonna be able to get a shot onto that guy. He's a big male, though. Would have been nice to get him. Where do these guys go? There we go. Should be two, though, so I don't know where the other one is. How do you get great ones? So you get great ones just from shooting the males of a species that can spawn a great one. So that'd be red deer, white tail, uh, moose, fallow deer, and black bear. It's a very rare and difficult to get spawn. And it is very RNG heavy, so it's very uh, random. How long it'll take to get them. Some people get great ones in a couple hundred kills. Others, it takes 10,000 kills, you know? Where is this? There he is. Perfect. Didn't have to go too much farther to get this guy. 201. Okay, he counts towards the challenge. Perfect. Oh, 50th kill of the grind. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Retriever pack is $5.99 if I'm not mistaken. Your boyfriend said that if he got a great one, or if you got a great one before him, he'd uninstall the game. So far, I play more than he does. Ooh. Oh, man. Well, it looks like he's going to be uninstalling then. That's quite the bet to quite the bet to make there. Yeah, I know I deleted the zone. That's solos, so I don't care about it. They're just gonna come back to the same area anyway. They couldn't go too much farther than the river, these two lakes, or these two lakes. If there's one thing I've learned from bear grinding, it's that the respawns don't seem to travel too far away from where you kill them. So it's not a big deal to delete zones. Uh, especially in this situation right here. They don't have too many places they can go. No, I'm not going to open this one to multiplayer. Boom. 1,600 cash. Love to see it. And a level up. Let's uh, slap one of these into breath control probably again. Yeah, let's go breath control again. That is like the most valuable, most valuable perk to us as of now. Can I make this? Oh! <laughs> Holy crap. I think I spined it. I think I spined him. <laughs> That was insane! What a shot, man. What a shot! What's up, Nate? Hey, that's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. My wife wants to set up a Great One Red Deer guide, or I'm assuming you mean grind. And this new playthrough of yours is like a blessing for her. Keep up the good work, man. Appreciate it, dude. Glad that I can help. Glad that I can help, as always. It should be a fun series, and I kind of figured, you know, this is a great series to do not just for the challenge, but also because, yeah, it does, uh, it does kind of give an idea of what you can do from scratch with absolutely nothing in the game. You could start from zero, have absolutely no money, no tents, nothing unlocked, and you can get a grind going pretty quickly. I mean, we've already gotten to a decent rhythm after just two hours and 11 minutes. We're 51 kills in. We've been able to acquire a couple of tents. 
Hey! Hey, we got a respawn. We got a level 9 respawn. I think that's a solo again. I think it's a solo again. I mean, it's nice that we're getting some 9s to spawn, though. I don't think he's from this herd, though. I think he's a solo. So we're going to kill the two next to him for now until I can get the, um, the skill that will tell us what herd he's from. And also, it's fine if we delete this zone because he's not going to go too far. I'm not worried too much about that. We'll be able to find him again. What's the best map for Whitetail? Personal preference is Layton for me. A lot of people like Revon Tuli more, though. That's a 265? Could be. I'm just basing it off the width of it. If it's the big rack, then that's a, a big one. If it's a small rack, then it's not. If that's the small rack, then that would be a troll, so... Depends on which rack it is. Because the small rack and the big rack look pretty much identical with like a few minor differences. Did we kill this one? We did. Nice. Vital organ hit. And then we also got to claim this guy too. Dude, that's the one that we absolutely smoked from long distance. Uh, yes, Tien, I have. I hunted a lot when I was a kid. Claim the nine first. I haven't shot the nine. We're stacking the nine. No, we we can, Keegan. We you can get a great one at any level. Uh, just for this challenge, we're trying to get a great one before hitting level sixty. Also, I need to clip that because we just found our second level nine of the grind. Okay, we got a good amount of money now. So that, that zone right there that has that diamond, it's likely it will not go far, which is why I'm not worried about deleting stuff. It's only going to be able to go like probably to these zones, potentially up here. So it's not going to be tough to find it again. There's not a lot of places that Red Deer can go on Tiabaroa, thankfully. It's pretty easy to find all your zones. Nice, that one hunter. That's awesome, man. What map is this? This is Tiabaroa. Why level 60? Because that's max level. Level 60 is the max level that you can reach in the game. So we're trying to get a great one before I hit max level. All right, let's do a little uh, time reset. Boom. Yeah, level 60 is as high as you can go. If you ever see somebody above level 60, they're a cheater. Seeing somebody above level 60 is a sure sign of them being a cheater. Get that. Get that. All right, let's see. Where's the scopes? Rifle sights. The Hyperion. Here we go. Boom. Hyperion scope acquired. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, uh, so much better. So much better, man. Got to clip that as well for the video. That level 7 is probably above 200, so we need to shoot this with the proper gun. Dude, we're immediately going to be able to kill these things so much better now. This is immediately going to be so much better. A 
I should have known, Fade. It should have known, man. Any cool trophies yet? Uh, yes, we have a piebald hind on the map, which, if you didn't know, hind is a female red deer. And, uh, we also have two level nines on the map that we're stacking for this grind. So we're off to a pretty solid start, man. It's been very, very solid so far. Where did the tracks lead to? There he is. There he is, right there. Oh, 188. So he didn't score over 200, so he will not count to the challenge. Or to the Hunt Club mission. Hunt Club challenge, Hunt Club mission. Are they missions or challenges? I can't remember. Yes, the new dog is a DLC. There's our other nine. Level six, level four, level three. Is that another four? It's another four. Let's go. Oh, man. Making progress on this HM already. Ah, uh, no. Well, not a good shot. I think he'll die this time, though. Last time we completely missed him. Not this time, though. We did get a hit into him this time. Um, we don't need the ATV, actually. We need to go here. Yes, I'll add this to the Great One counter whenever we get a Great One on here, because it's still a Great One that I got, so it still counts as one of my Great Ones. So it will go on to the counter when we get it. Just a four there. There he is. Is 25 diamonds with HM good for Red Deer on Tiavaro after three months? Um, it's not about the amount of time you spend. Uh, measuring in, like, time spent isn't the best way to figure out if you're doing good with HM or not. It's about how many kills you've got versus how many diamonds you've got. Um, like, let's say if you have 25 diamonds and... Let's say... What's a good number to measure by? Or what's a good reference... Like, let's say you've killed 300 red deer, right? And you have managed to get 30 diamonds. That would be normal. Like, that's normal no HM numbers. Or no, no, not 30. If you manage to get three diamonds in 300 kills, that's normal. Like, that's a normal number. But let's say you've got 10 diamonds in 300 kills instead. That would be pretty decent HM. That would be an average of a diamond every 30 kills. So it's better to measure by, like, how many diamonds you have in a specific kill count than it is to measure in, like, a time frame. Because different people get different amounts of kills in different time frames, you know? Okay, so we got a couple over there that we can shoot still. You're a thousand kills in. Thousand kills in with 25 diamonds. Let's see. Um. It's definitely above average, so. I would say your HM is not fully complete. But. It's, you're, you're doing better than. What it would be without herd management. I'd say you still need to manage some of the map down, though. You want to get it to a target of, like, a diamond every 30 kills at the minimum. I try to push it even further. So, most likely, you're missing some zones that you need to manage down. Or, like, some of your existing zones you just haven't fully managed. Uh, go for it, uh, Bubba. Go for it, man. Ask away, sir.
Uh, yes, there was a piebald in that herd. We're leaving her alive because uh, there's no use in shooting a female for a great one grind. Especially in this series where we're trying to get it before level 60. I don't want to shoot extra stuff that's going to level us up more than we need to. Because the longer that we can prolong the leveling process, the better chances we have of completing this challenge. Ma'am? You good? You good, bro? You good? Oh, we got a good shot on this one. We'll have to go grab that next. Boop. I guess she just wants to hang out. Platypus is my favorite animal in Call of the Wild. Fantastic. Love to see it. <laughs> Do you imagine hunting a platypus? I would just feel bad. I would feel bad for shooting that thing. If you're lower level right now, Austin, I would recommend hunting everything. Um, I wouldn't worry about doing any of these like advanced hunting methods like I'm doing right now. I would just focus on, you know, learning the mechanics of the game, um, making money and XP, you know, hunting everything you can. That's what I would focus on right now. I've got a beginner series on the channel if you're interested in watching it. If you go to the playlist, you'll be able to find a playlist that's titled like a beginner's guide playthrough or something like that. And actually, I think there's a command for it. So one of the moderators might be able to bring it up for you. Okay, let's start working towards getting track knowledge so that we can see the size of a group and also if there's solos in there or not. Which command? I think it's like exclamation point beginner or something like that, Nate. Just a heads up, commands are only for members and moderators because we had spamming issues before, so don't try to enter it. Oh, I was too late. Somebody already did. Grand America Lake, according to my friends. America Lake. Interesting. I've never heard it called that. I always call this one Upper Pukimaro Lake. We need a name for the piebald? You're right, we do. We do need to find a name for that piebald. Okay, we can go afford another tent now, which is beautiful. You'd love to see it. Love to see it, man. Yeah, no problem, Austin. But yeah, that link up in the chat a little bit above your last message is the playlist for the beginner's guide playthrough. It kind of goes over like all the basics of the game and, you know, stuff that I do early on to earn some money and things like that. Boom. New tent. Who dis? New tent. Who dis? Now, let's go to five and pick this up because I don't actually want to keep this here anymore. We're going to start moving over to this area now because it's going to be good to work on that area early on. I'm trying to manage as much of this right side of the map as I can because I really like the left side of the map a little bit more. I'm going to try and get most of my zones that I grind full time on the right side of the map. There's going to be a couple here probably. It's inevitable I always end up straying from the original plan at least a little bit. It's nostalgic, Ronnie. It's nostalgic, man. I mean, Tiaboroa Red Deer was the very first, like, extreme HM grind that I ever did. Not seeing any videos about what? I may have missed something. What do you think about doing a moose grind for your next grind? Uh, moose grind are, are pretty good. Like the moose uh, great one is a beautiful great one. 
definitely my favorite of all the great ones in the game. Uh, go for it, Crazy Taco. Ask away, man. How far away do tents have to be? If you want stuff to render in properly, they gotta be like... 220-ish to be safe. 230-ish. Somewhere around that range. New colors goaded for platypus. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, I actually caught seven platypus with my fishing rod here in the Hunter the other day. I was using the uh, size 6 aught spinner. So happy that I got my great one? Nice, dude. You'll love to see it, man. Can you do the 22 trick with the 22 pistol? Yes, it works with all 22s. What are the best maps? I mean, that's going to be different from person to person. Everybody's got their own personal preferences of what they think makes a map the best. My top three for my personal likings is Emerald Coast, Revon Tuli Coast, and Tiabaroa. But if you go ask another content creator, they'll probably give you a completely different answer. I know a lot of people have Silver Ridge Peaks as their number one map. Used to be my number one, but they've made changes to it that I didn't like. Even the 22 Hornet? No, but 22 LRs. What all comes with the dog? Uh, you get the dog. That that's that's it. You just get the dog. I think it'll come with like the treats for it. If you don't already have like the Bloodhound DLC. We're going to hop off right here. I probably should have hopped off a little sooner, but it is what it is. No, I didn't set this up right. Hold up. Hold up, man. Uh, let's go ahead and swap loadouts. We're going to move that out and pick this up. Boom. There we go. These are going to be gone if there was anything here. Because we drove the ATV too close. But there's typically a zone like over there. So they should render in. Sometimes there's even a zone, like, over here. We'll keep an eye out for tracks, though. Ooh, nice, Faded. That's good. That's really good. Because I remember that was, like, a major uh, complaint for a lot of people, was that you couldn't rebind your keys on console. Or rebind your buttons. Because I guess it's not keys on console, it's buttons. Hey, that's a troll. That's a guaranteed troll, level 9. Guaranteed troll. <laughs> Love to see it, man. Love to see it. Here's his own. You know, after our grind on Emerald, I am tired of seeing those troll rack. The troll racks are just... Oh, man. Brutal. They're brutal, man. Absolutely brutal. You stack the trolls? Nah, I don't. They're basically a mythical. They're basically a mythical, so I don't stack them. Not worth it. Valadir is kind of small, but it's a diamond. Nice, dude. Hey, diamond's a diamond, you know. That's the way I see it. A diamond's a diamond. 
Yeah, Necron, since we couldn't finish the last one due to them uh, resetting Tiabaroa and uh, making a bunch of changes and stuff, I decided to revive the series with Season 2. We didn't, we didn't successfully get it in Season 1, but maybe Season 2 will be different. Maybe Season 2 we will successfully get this thing. That's the hope, at least, is that we will successfully accomplish this this time. Appreciate it, RL. Appreciate it, dude. Nice. I think we got two. Did we finally hit the nine? Hard to say. Even if we didn't, I'm not too worried about it because he's a guaranteed troll. Yeah, he died. Perfect. He died. We got him. Drop that there. Grab this guy. Now, back to this loadout. Then for now, we'll drop this blind right here. Holy. Yeah, Weston, it's right here. Right up here. Pretty much all of the uh, lakes on this side are crazy good for red deer on Tiabaroa. Uh, make sure you're going there between the hours of 6 and 10 in the morning. Yes, TN, I would recommend going to YouTube and typing in the search bar. How to start a YouTube channel in 2023. That's how I started my channel. Boom. All right, let's get this uh, level nine. There he is. 240. That is why we are not stacking those. Because they, they're like 10 points off a diamond, so it's not worth stacking them. What level am I? We're currently level 8. Okay, we do have one more of those. Perfect. Might as well use all these since they are free. Well, not they're not free, but you know what I mean. Like, you get a few of them for free at the beginning. Honestly, I think I know what I'm going to do. This is probably going to be it for today's stream because we've been going for two and a half hours. I got another stream that I have to do today as well for Tackle Tuesday. And I need to eat dinner in between the two streams, so we're going to go ahead and call this stream here. I'm going to go ahead and buy the duck and cover DLC so we can use those waterfowl blinds instead because they're going to be way more money efficient. I know, right, Chip? For real, for real. But anyway, guys, I'll have info on the 12-hour uh, stream soon. Um, likely in a couple of days, I'll put up a post talking about exactly when it's going to happen because I'm still trying to figure out the exact date 
But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Anyway, guys, thank you for dropping in. Appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.